Farmers markets are popping up all over the country, especially in the southeast. Looking forward to fresh summer fruits and veggies are a sign that winter is long gone. That's right. On tonight's Good Life, Beth Newhoff visits a multi-generational farming family. The Good Life is brought to you by Tennessee Valley Federal Credit Union. Spring is a favorite time for the Colvin family. The smell of the earth and the anticipation of a new growing season. Six days a week, it's rise and shine for Steve Colvin's family. Nine of their 13 children still live at home and they're ready to work the farm and take care of the animals. The Colvin crew live simple, hardworking lives. We live uh, with, the, with the food as little processing as possible and just uh, straight from the field to the table and try to encourage other folks to do that. And there's a lot of people that are very health conscious now, so that works well, it fits. It fits. Beyond the droughts and the rains, the challenge with organic farming isn't only the changing weather. But the, the challenges, of course, for us is being able to manage our time to where we keep the crops rotated in and out and keep them harvested and keep the weeds out of the field. And his family knows he hates weeds. You can't just love vegetables, you've got to hate weeds. It works that way. Every day on the farm is the perfect setting for lessons. From hatchlings to baby piglets, when it's not reading and math, it's hands-on learning in science and agriculture for this homeschooled family. Taking the little ones out in this field and having them pull a turnip or a radish and seeing their face light up and they see this isn't Philo, this isn't Food City, this is, this is where it really comes from. And right. so they, they, when their faces light up and they make that connection, it's, it's really fun. So we have a bucket there and ready for them to eat right away. Even the youngest of the bunch is anxious to help. I'll let you cut that one and I'll let you carry another bundle down to the box, okay? Down under the ground. That's a good one. All of their produce is certified naturally grown, which adheres to strict organic standards. So we don't use any chemical fertilizers, chemical pesticides, any of the herbicides. Uh, so it, it makes it to where we, it's more labor intensive. You gotta get out there and, and, and fight the weeds the old fashioned way, with the plow or the, or the hoe. On this day, the Colvins are at the height of picking strawberries. Steve says theirs are different from the others that you buy. We grow them uh, with absolutely no chemicals. You, you'll be hard pressed to find any strawberry farmer that, that doesn't put some kind of fumigation underneath the plastic and, and spray them. We don't use any, we don't use any chemicals, zero. These are just completely natural. Eating with the season is the farm to fork way. This harvest will be at the market this afternoon and on your table tonight. I'm Beth Newhoff, living the organic good life, News Channel 9. So is that one ready? Looks like a lot of good old fashioned work. For more information on the Colvin family farm and what they produce, go to newschannel9.com.